Suppose we have a rigid body and it's rotating about a fixed axis and we know that the angular acceleration alpha is given. Now it may be a function of time and we'd like to find from this the angular velocity and how much angle has rotated in some time interval. So the first thing we have to do is choose a point in the rigid body and introduce a coordinate system. Here we have our angle theta and with this point we have our r hat and our theta hat direction. And recall that by the right hand rule the k hat is going out of the plane of the figure. And so we have our coordinate system. And we wrote alpha as the second derivative of theta with respect to time k hat. Now our goal is to find omega, which we'll write as the first derivative of d theta dt k hat, and also to find theta as a function of time. Now recall that our notation was that alpha z was d omega z dt equals d squared theta dt squared. And in this notation, omega z was equal to d theta dt. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to integrate alpha just like we did in simple circular motion kinematics for point-like objects. And so what we have here is that for some time interval, omega z at time t minus omega z zero is the integral of t prime equals zero to t of alpha z, which is our component of the angular acceleration. We have an integration variable dt prime. And recall that that implies that omega z t can have some initial value at time t equals zero plus this integral relationship, which is what we want to figure out by direct integration. Now, this only works when alpha z is some function of time. In order to get the angle theta of t, we, use, we integrate again, where we have theta of t zero is the integral from t prime equals zero to t prime equals t. Of this function, omega z, again, we have some integration variable t prime dt prime. And so we see that theta of t can have some initial value plus this integral relationship t prime equals t of omega z t prime dt prime. And this is how we can figure out the, how the point p has a component of angular velocity and what angle the, the point P sweeps out in some time interval T.